Hello everyone, welcome to Homemakers. Today we're going to be working on a resin pendant. In your kit, you should have this piece of wax paper with some tape on it. You should have an empty pendant. Yours will have a chain attached to it already. You should have a few dried flowers, a toothpick, and this is UV resin. Um, so just be careful with storing this. You don't want to put it anywhere near a window or anything like that because it does harden in the sun. All right. So this is a pretty simple project. Um, you may want to grab paper towels or something to work on or something to at least protect your space. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some of this tape. I need just enough that the pendant will fit on it. So there's probably extra in your kit. And what you want to do is just make sure that the tape lines up with your pendant. So I'm going to make sure that the top edge lines up with the top edge of the tape. And just press this down. So what this is going to do is hold your resin and keep it from flooding your surface. So you want to make sure that that is press down pretty well and it's nice and straight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these flowers out. This is what I'm going to use to decorate the inside of the pendant. If you've done this here at the library, we've done it with little clay charms and all sorts of things as well. So when you're working with the resin, you just want to make sure not to get it on your hands. So if you have gloves that you want to wear, that's fine. Um, but I did put it in these bottles, so hopefully it doesn't get on your fingers. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill this about halfway. And I don't want to move it around too much. I'm keeping it down inside of here and just moving the resin around instead of lifting up the bottle because um, I just want to make sure that I don't get too many bubbles in here. Okay, so I have a few little bubbles and that's what one of the things your toothpick is for so you can poke those out. this out of the way because you don't want that to get stuck in the resin. Okay, so now I have, I still have a couple bubbles down there. All right, so I've got a layer of resin in there. It's not full. It's about half full. And I'm going to start putting my flowers in. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of the resin to pick up my flowers. And just drop them in there. And you can move them around with your toothpick. If you've got scissors handy, you can I'm going to trim some of these. Okay, so once you've got everything arranged, I'm going to refocus this here. I'm going to fill the rest of this with resin. So I'm just going to make sure that all of the flowers are covered and fill this up. If your flowers move around and start floating, you can use your toothpick to kind of push them back down.
So when we do this in the library, we use a UV light, which I think it's original, they're originally for nail art, but we use them with the UV resin and they work really well. However, you can also just place these in a window for five to 10 minutes. And as long as the sun is directly on them, they will cure and they will get hard. Um, and then once they're done, you'll just peel the tape off and you can use your toothpick to kind of poke at it to see if it's hardened enough for you to remove it from the tape. Um, I've got one that's done here, so this one, it's kind of see-through, but um, this one we hardened with the light, but this is what it will look like when it's done. So, pretty simple. Um, there probably will be leftover resin if you want to get charms or anything from the store, you can use that in the same way. Just remember to store it out of the sun. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next month.